Snake. I've got just the explosive to bust through that barricade. C4. We finished developing C4 charges. Take some with you. Oh. That was it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Great. Miller, sir. I guess I should point this out. You know how there's those special co-ops communication things that have, like, powers? Yes. Um, even if you put them into your menu, they won't do that power unless you activate it. What? So you have to, like, <laughs> highlight it after you've already put it in, like, your menu and then press triangle to activate it. I guess the reasoning is maybe you want to use a specific word but not have the effect because it might mess up a rank. Mm-hmm. Or something. That's but weird. I have, I have taking it slow and taking it slow. Dot dot dot, and the one with the ellipses makes it so that when I use it, I can't run anymore. <laughs> what? It's. I think it's because they made that one because, um, you know, it was on the PSP and it had that shitty analog stub mm -hmm. that uh, made it really hard for some people to just walk consistently instead of run. So I think they put that in there so you could just walk and not fuck it up and get caught or something. I guess I guess that works, but that's so dumb that they had to do that it's to a work weird, around the. Uh, it's a weird, yeah, having like a work around switch. Efficiency of the stick. to the prison camp. It's in the village where they were holding Chico. <laughs> yeah. We unlocked that uh, thing earlier where they're like medals, achievements, and when you get them, uh, you get more extra heroism points. There's one for like 250 snake ins. Really? That's why I was mashing that button. <laughs> Not for the beautiful music. Well, that too. Okay, let's see. Can I fall on top of this man? You can still fall on top of guys by dropping down from railings, but their hitboxes are way tinier. So I have to be really precise to land on them right. Full yep, there we go. Nice. Now, so since we're walking back through this place and we Fultoned, uh. Oh shit. Did not land on him. No, shut oh, up! No. Shut up! Oh, okay. It's fine. <laughs> um, are these the same guys? Like, will the stats be equivalent if they're not I'm actually? I'm really being not the sure, same? actually. Hmm. Um, the the thing is, is that levels. Um, each mission has certain types of soldiers that can be found, but they're randomized a little. Okay. But they have a constraint of how good they can be. Right. Also, I'm finally using the Walkman. Sinking, sinking, sinking. Super oh, yeah. Buddies. 26 to 31 percent. Yeah. <laughs> and, and slightly faster, but not really. All right. Should be guys up on the catwalks, right? Yep. There's one right here. Got him. She's here for the ride. This looks so much better. I still can't get over how much better this looks. I know, it's just so much smoother, because it actually runs at 60 frames per second, right. which is really nice. Plus the screen, I mean, it's pretty impressive for what it was at the time, but the PSP yeah. screen just is not the most yeah. impressive technologically. No. Play some really exciting music, my Walkman. Oh, yeah, there's a guy. Let's see if I can get his head. Damn. Yep. Look how easy aiming is. <laughs> I know. This is kind of ridiculous. Whoop. What was that? Anything good? Just some uh, anesthetic rounds. 
Whoop, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oop, there's a guy. Whoop. Oh, that's too far away. I'm dumb. Oh, ow. <laughs> It's gonna be like a wicked headache. Yeah, he has oh, no I guess idea. I should explain. I use it once, but I guess I should explain what the Sonic Eye is. Mm -hmm. It shows you the source of sounds as like little pulsating circles, and it has a number in the middle. And the uh, smaller the number, the closer the sound is to you. Or the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> I said it the wrong way. <laughs> but yeah, the number changes in. Depending on how close the sound source is to you, um, Head west from there. it only works. To the prison camp. It only works if you're on the ground or ah, <laughs> or pressed up against the surface. But later models make it so they don't have to be up against something. Now, why is that more beneficial than the sound indicator? Um, because it it's really it's more precise. Because the the sound indicator is just like a circle in the top right, and it just kind of points in the general area where it's coming from, but you don't know how close it is to you. Oh, okay. And you don't see exactly on the screen where the sound is coming from. I still like the radar more, because if you cut across the prison camp, later on, when you upgrade it, it'll actually show dots on it, too, of people. It's not as good as, like, the Soliton radar, but uh, it's still pretty decent. Oh, it's just picking up your feet. Oh, there's a guy. Let's see. Huh. What was that? Huh. These guys have helmets. Does that matter? Can't remember. God! Yeah, you have to headshot them twice. Oh God! Yeah, you do. Oh no! What has happened? I uh got his helmet off. Oh. But then he got a little upset. He turned around really fast, actually. Like, way faster oh, there's than somebody. normal. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll plant C4. <laughs> <laughs> to plant a C4 I'm this dude. Oh, here comes somebody. Are you away from the wall? Yeah, you are. Good enough. <laughs> oh, no, I planted another one. Uh-oh, watch <laughs> out! <laughs> Good work, oh, he only exploded the first one. Yeah. Oh, that's you. I was just <laughs> oh, about to see you see slam you. Right there. Oh, there's one guy. Oh. The, bad kind. Watch yourself. the bad kind of attraction. Not the sexy they kind, Miller. right by me. Ooh. This guy doesn't even know. Oh, there's four of them. Oh my god. Just chain him. Oh man, this is great. Oh, something happened with lag there at the CQC. That was kind of weird. <laughs> oh, there's another dude! Get out of here, dude! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> yep. Farming soldiers. Oh, here's a, the thing though. Um, farming soldiers through alert mode isn't a very viable way to farm soldiers because the guys in alert mode have really shitty stats. Is that like your punishment for uh? Yeah. Getting caught? Oh. They have bad stats, like. Lots of their stats just have a dash because they're so bad. Oh, and then yeah. they can't learn anything. Poor souls. I know. You think like the Hello, really cat. good guys? <laughs> you think the really good guys would be the ones? Yeah. The, the special forces that come patrolling through, but I guess not. That would make sense. It would make sense, but it wouldn't be the punishment. Real they world, want. it would make sense, but gameplay wise, yeah. Right. Just make the game a little too easy. Oh, you fucked up. Well. Here's your prize. Really good soldiers to capture. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's like the new age parenting. Kind wow, of thing. 14 soldiers. You never do anything wrong. Yeah. Well, at the beginning game, any soldier is good. You just need more, lots of dudes to pump money out. Snake, you there? Yeah, what's up? You've got to talk to Amanda. What happened? She wants to leave Sick Bay and get back on the battlefield, but she's not fully healed. She's still in crutches. Who'd be crazy enough to try and fight like that? You have to talk some sense into her. Is she with you right now? No, she's in sick bay. She keeps shouting about how she doesn't want to be there. She won't shut up about it. She's driving me- Let her go. What? If that's what she wants, let her go. I'm really not in the mood for jokes, Snake. I'm serious. Let her go. Why? So she can come back in a body bag? 
I'm really not in the mood for jokes, Kaz. What are you talking about? Amanda isn't the type to just sit around in sick bay. She has a sense of duty. Her purpose in life is to fight. The battlefield isn't just the best thing for her. It's the best thing for her compass, too. She'll be a huge morale boost that can only benefit MSF. You think so? You're good at fighting, Kaz. One of the best. But you've got a lot to learn when it comes to people. So, where should I put her? I'll think it over and find a team for her. Don't worry, she won't let us down. Whatever you say, boss. Whatever you say, boss. Didn't I tell you about how I dealt with that child? Clearly I'm not fit. <laughs> oh man, solid magazine. Men's cologne! Oh, uh, Impala, no. He's sick. You know, when you first get here, it's just... I understand it's the R&D team, having developed the stuff you've asked for, but it's just like you're being showered in gifts. Men's cologne? <laughs> yeah! Magazines back at the base for me! You guys are the best. Alright. Well, Amanda just got kicked out of the sick bay because she doesn't want to be in the sick bay anymore, but again, her wounds are down to 27. The lowest they'll really get is about 25. And you can see even at 27, her stats are like almost halved, which sucks. <laughs> but whatever. Throw her in the combat unit anyways and watch her get sick. But you can see the last couple of soldiers in the list are the alert guys, and they have really bad stats. Eh, ease. That's fine. <laughs> they just fail at everything, but it's okay. <laughs> Snake, you're north of the village. The truck carrying the nukes is heading towards the heart of the mountain. That's its final destination. We've got no intel on what lies beyond, so stay sharp. Mm, big boss got nukes. <laughs> oh, I have noticed one thing that's missing from this version of the game, though. What? There was more product tie-in with this game, and it was with um, Unique Low brand t-shirts. And if you bought a Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker themed Uniqlo shirt in real life, it had a code on the tag, and if you punched in the code, you got that same t-shirt in the game to wear. But those shirts aren't in this game at all. So I'll have to actually freaking load up the PSP one just to show all the sweet shirts. Have to. Absolutely have to. <laughs> there's, one, one, there's a Che Guevara shirt, but it's replaced with Big Boss. Is it, like, the same style, though? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, at least. Come on. Mm -hmm. It's great. And then there's, uh... One other shirt. Why would you take that away? There's one other shirt that's just black and in really big, like, white aerial font. It just says, BIG BOSS! <laughs> oh, that's great, too. Damn it. Sync up. Oh, it's going a little bit faster now. This is the first time I've really dealt with any of the co-op stuff, because I I couldn't play the game with co-op co with anybody, really. I did, like, a couple missions co-op, and then that was it. Well, you either have to use that really awkward system. Mm -hmm. With a PS3 at the terrible. time. Yeah, it was really... Uh, I can hike you up here. Watch out, there's a guy right there, though. Oh, you're pulling me up! <laughs> Oh, oh god, you're snaking, but you're blocking my aim. <laughs> my, from my view, it was... Your head was right in front of my gun. <laughs> I can't even reload, it interrupts the sinking. Just gotta stay completely still. Wait, wait, buddy, wait. Yeah. All right. Oh, my Sonic guy's bat battery is out. I keep forgetting it has a really short, crappy battery. Well, level one everything is kind of meh. Yeah. At least it recharges even when it's unequipped. Why can't I pick up this man? Is it because we're snake in? I guess. Snake out. Yep. Can't pick up men when you're snake in. Oh, there's a guy right down there. Oh yeah. You want to get him or? Snake Maybe we just avoided all of them. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Well, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could have been such cool dudes, though. I'll never know. 
We'll never know. Ever. Oh! Uh, snake in here. I just heard a grunt. Um. Yeah, I gotta. S it's kind of annoying they have to sink in to hike buddies up. Yeah. It's a little silly, but. Um. Yep. Here we go. Gotta bring me up here because I gotta catch this person, though. There is a lady female POW here, but when you pick her up, Master Miller has a different reaction to it. Oh, all right. <laughs> yep. Master Miller's a little creepy when you pick up lady people. I know it probably gets lonely out in the middle of the sea. But... You gotta rein it's it in. It's a little weird. Dudes below. Oh, we got him. Okay. Yep. I feel like they're realize they're under attack time since you're popping their helmet off. It's so much shorter. Mm -hmm. it's choking this guy out very slowly. Put the other guy on the other side of that. 300 cloud stamina to sleep. points at a time. <laughs> God, how much stamina do you have, dude? Come on. There we go. Oh. Man. Ultimate recovery helicopter. Oh, dude, well, you were busy <laughs> caressing that man for a while. There might be design specs up here, but I can't quite remember. There's something up here, at least. Oh, it's just ammo. Whatever. Ah! <laughs> oh. Man, you don't even really have to touch me. Just have to get close enough. Like the breeze from your body. It's like a jet flying by. It's a sonic boom around you when you roll. It's my jet impression. It's great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> The base is beyond that fort. You've got to get past it somehow. Somehow. I don't care how you get past it, Snake. Okay, let's see. Digital camera. Oh, out of <laughs> sync, because I got my camera Screw out. Screw it. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Weren't ready for that picture, were ya? <laughs> Gonna have a funny face on and everything. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it was a very hilarious face underneath that mask. Well, that's right, you can't even see. Mm -mm. Uh -oh. oh, I tagged you. Yep, Sorry. I was just gonna say, who's that yellow dude? Oh, it's me. <laughs> oh, there's another guy up there, too. Yeah. Let's see if I can get him. Oop. Oop. What's going on? Uh oh. He got his helmet off. Well. Enemy We're under attack. Going to alert status. Oh boy. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements. Proceed with extra caution. I hope the reinforcements don't come from behind. I'm pretty sure they don't, but... I really expect not, but... I never know. Pretty sure they come... Yep, they're coming down the ladder. Oop, smoke them! Now, I can't remember if caution guards are better or worse or not. There's a guy. I'll just get him. <laughs> what is over here? Oh, a guy! A guy is over here. Oh! Smoke grenades are so useful! Oh, one guy's down. The other guy's confused. They're both down. Hopefully no more other guys Ooh. come out from under there. Now let's see. No, I don't... Th can we hike up over there? I don't know, I'll just drop a box. Oh! I put us both. Huh. I, I scooped. I scooped both of us into the box. I guess so, since we were in <laughs> snake, you. snake in. Yeah, that's pretty great, actually. All clear. Mm -hmm. Understood. Stay vigilant. Now, if I move out of here, do I just? Oh, perfect. Yep. Oh, oh I knocked you out. My box. Let's see if we sync up. If you can push me out there, that looks like it's probably too high, though. Yeah, I was wondering if. Uh, we could use the box as a stepping stone to get up there. Like, both of us get up on the box and then hike each other up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we aren't hiking up this way, so... Uh, Sneak out. Break out. Get the box. 
Leave the box. How do you leave the box? Uh, when you have the item window open, you press X on whatever item you have highlighted. <laughs> now let's try it. Let's break this game. Let's break it so hard. Oh yeah. Oh! <laughs> my box! No! No, the box! My box! Oh, such well. a sad day. Remember all the memories <laughs> we had in that box? Yeah. Oh, I'm out of box. <laughs> That, that's actually, um, because the box has ranks, too, and the, when it goes up in rank, uh, it becomes more durable, so you can stand on it and run around on it more with that before it breaks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Wish I had a better box. <laughs> guess I have to develop better corrugated cardboard? I guess. I don't know how you can make it much better. Oh, that was a bad grenade. That was my grenade. Oh, wait, it was a good grenade. Shh, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yep. Just in case they come down. I don't think they will norm- oh wait. Actually, they will. Oh. I'm gonna investigate that. <laughs> <laughs> Just sock him one right when he gets up. <laughs> oh! We both grabbed him, I think. <laughs> What is that? Oh my god! <laughs> he was still there and I just climbed the ladder and dropped off and he just went flying. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it worked. That was tactical. <laughs> this is... this is sneaking. Recovery to helicopter is complete. Oh, there's a guy right there! He doesn't hey. even know. Oh, you can still knock on stuff, by the way. He's coming around the right side. That side that you go. Come on. No. Oh no, he's coming around the other way! Uh-oh! Someone's trying uh -oh. to trick me. I will go in the counterintuitive direction. <laughs> it never gets old. It is just so comical. I'm pretty sure there are more men. Hello? <laughs> pretty sure there's guys down here. Actually, the guys that came down the surge that we beat up might be... Might have been them. Probably. Because I'm, yeah, my surround indicator isn't picking up any other sounds. Whoop. Other than your footsteps. Oh, there's a POW down there. Not in this room. Right down here, I got him. Oh, got some rations over here. And, uh, that's it. Yep. Anything in this room? Just more ammo. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Well, that wasn't too bad. Corrupted. Lured them all out. It'd take two people, It'll take to, two people to go through there. Gotta wait for backup. Before going gotta wait for harder. backup. <laughs> I wish, I wish you could grab me by the hand and drag me. <laughs> that would be fantastic. That's a force snake in. <laughs> Cause I'm inside the facility. There's rows and rows of trucks here. If that's where they brought the nukes, then the truck we're after should be there. Snake, can you tell which one of the trucks brought the nukes? One of them must have the same license plate as the one from the terminal. Do you remember it? We lingered on it. Yes, we were supposed to remember it. But here's the thing, um... You don't want to remember the right one, because there's secrets in the other ones. Ooh. So let's see... <sighs> Not this one. Oh, I'm glad they have fish. Mm-hmm. They got the fish truck. It's not this one either. Metal gear. Pretty sure this one isn't it either. Mr. Kojima. Yeah, so we just recruited Hideo Kojima. He's an actual person you have in Mother Base. Is he the best person? No. He, well, he does have good, pretty good stats. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's that one, so let's skip that one. Mm. Nothing. Oh, it's not even a joke. <laughs> you jerk. Come on. Oh, it's that codec frequency. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Where 
are they? No, take the money! Or gold, <laughs> yes. I guess. Take all the treasure! Sunlight! That's a reference to Boktai. Game I haven't really played. Whoops. And last one. <clears throat> this is the one. The exhaust still warm. But the cargo's already been offloaded. Just a minute. This isn't what we agreed on. It's too late. The changes have already been finalized. You told me it was going to be a deterrent that we wouldn't have to launch. I am not arguing with you, Doctor. Our goal is to create the perfect deterrent. That's why I agreed to help develop it. Mm -hmm. However, in order to achieve that perfect deterrent, we must show the world our strength. Three key principles ensure effective nuclear deterrence. First, you must have nuclear weapons. Second, you must never use them first. And third, and most important, if someone attacks you, you must strike back. Unless we prove beyond a doubt that these three principles work in practice, the world will not accept our new deterrent. And the only way to do that is to show them we are capable of actually launching a nuke. But isn't deterrence supposed to stop nukes from being used? Exactly. And so the one we launch will be the last one ever. I won't let you use my creation like that! <laughs> your creation? <laughs> that thing wasn't even your idea to begin with. You stole it, didn't you? <clears throat> stole it? You're one to talk! You got the idea for bipedal locomotion from the communists in the first place! You listen to me, Doc. Keep quiet. Do as I say. Not another word about stolen ideas. Should we succeed here, you'll be the toast of the scientific community. And your name will go down in history as champion of both progress and national security. The hell with that! Doctor! Unless we prove we're capable of launching, Peace Walker is useless as a deterrent. You used me! We used each other. I'll get my old director's job back at headquarters, and you'll finally be able to walk tall among your colleagues. Uh, I won't let you get away with this! How unfortunate. Guess I'll just have to take your legs for myself! <laughs> Come to us, Doc. We are going to have to meet it halfway. V for victory. Wait! <laughs> hey, you okay? Don't do it! Snap out of it! Where are the nukes? He's gonna do it! He's gonna launch a nuke!
So we continue.